Hello everyone, this is going to be a very quick little tutorial video to kind of show you how to get to the easy room farm very quick like and easy and this is also going to be a little bit of a tutorial for uh, my brother as well who's playing the game. So, I'm right now currently at the round table hold. What you're going to need is a bow, okay? And very simple, easy bow can be picked up right here from the nomadic merchant just outside of the coastal cave you can fast travel there and get to that particular merchant who will sell a short bow to you the very first thing you're going to want to do before you progress through any of it is you want to make it up here to the third church of Marika so over here is where your actual starting point is first step you want to make it all the way around up here to the third church of Marika. Now the reason why I say this is because the area that we're going to be going to eventually is underground. Now once you get underground, the you can't fast travel to any other sites of grace unless it is one that is underground. Okay, and so if you fast travel to here because you don't have any other option to get up or any other fast travel points, you're not going to be, or fast travel points of grace, you're not going to be able to get anywhere. So, from here, you're going to summon Torrent, and you're just going to follow my path here. Run past the pigs. And you'll start to see the building back there in the back. And it's right across from the giant bears, the room bears that are in here. But you're going to want to get to this point. Right up here. And go ahead and go on inside. Now, this is this Siofra River well. You're going to open that door there. As you can see, I've already done it. And this is your way into the underground. This is a very long, very long trek down. But trust me, where we end up um, at the end of this is going to be well worth the wait. I've seen a lot of... TikTok videos and other YouTube videos, but this is basically going to show you a foolproof way of doing this without you having to worry too much about other things. This is something I normally would have showed him in a normal playthrough, but um, there are some areas that are very treacherous. You're going to actually need your horse to get through, so it's better to do it solo since when you're in a group, you can't actually... Uh, call upon your horse to get you there so as soon as you get to the bottom here you're going to rest right here at this site of grace so that now you have a waypoint unlocked Sphere river well depths and where we're trying to get to as you can see this is all underground now and if I actually show above ground Well, it looks like it's actually letting me fast travel right now, but normally it does not let you fast travel if you are underground. But, okay. Now we've got that. Our area where we're trying to get to is over here. In this particular area. That's where we want to go. Okay. So, we'll see if it'll actually let me. Now that we've actually got underground here and we've gotten the bow you are going to go back to the first step now the NPC that was here at the first step when you talked to him he's not going to be there anymore there's going to be a message that's left that tells you to go to the Church of Rose and that's going to be up here in the lake region so you're going to come all the way up here and it's going to take you to the Rose Church okay so we will fast travel to the nearest site of grace. Uh, 
I'm honestly surprised that it let me do it from the underground because normally it will not let you. We're going to summon our lovely steed. And we're going to head back this way. Running through the temple quarter. Until you get to this area right here, which is the Rose Church. Now, if you go inside the Rose Church, you will be invaded by an NPC that you'll have to kill. But just standing outside, he will be right here. He will be standing right here. I've already progressed enough to where he's not. He'll be standing right here, and he will ask you some questions, agree to everything that he says. Okay, once you agree to everything he says, he's going to give you an item. The item that he gives you is going to be the Festering Bloody Finger, which attempts to invasion of other players in the world. A lot of people don't like PvP, but you have to do it at least three times in order to progress the quest line. So invade three times, doesn't matter whether you win or lose, exit out, it doesn't matter as long as you've invaded three people's world. You come back and talk to him here, and he will give you a rag that he wants you to soak in Maiden's blood. But, however, you are maidenless, so he tells you that any other, anybody's maiden will do. So, at that point, you want to fast travel to another area. Which is the four belfries. And to give you an idea of where that's at, here's the church. So you want to get back up here on the path, go all the way up until you get to the four belfries. I know it's a lot of steps, just bear with me. Like I said, follow this guide and you'll be able to do it, no problem. And there is one particular boss that you're going to have to defeat in order to get this far. Once you get up here to the four belfries, Okay, as you're coming up, there'll be ghost giants that try to attack you. Just run through them and get up here to the very, very top. At the very top up here, when you get to the very top tower, there'll be an item here in this chest, which will be a, um, a stone sword. It is a magic stone sword key that you have to use to come down here and unlock this first travel gate. Don't go to the other ones. They all have travel gates to different ones, but go to the very first one that you come across that's right below the tower here. Not that one, but this one. And you're going to examine here and travel to another location. We're almost done, I promise. All right, you will arrive here at the Chapel of Anticipation. Now, for most of y'all who who played the very beginning, this is exactly where you start off as. There will be a ledge out here going towards those butterflies. Do not try to get those butterflies because the ledge will fall away and you will fall down to your death. So do not try to get those butterflies. As you start to come up through here, there is going to be a boss fog here where you will run through and you will encounter the very first boss that you had to face at the very beginning of the game. So it is time for your revenge to deal out some punishment and take care of that boss at the very beginning. You're going to run through here. Also, another little fun fact, you see where it says message was appraised and my body did that little bitty uh, glint thing. Leave messages anytime that you can. Because I know a lot of people don't want to, but if you do leave messages, people appraise them and they can help out a lot because you'll be in a boss fight and it will restore your HP. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and see they keep doing it. And every time it does it, the message is appraised. 
So we're going to come up here. We're going to come up in here through the gate, and you're going to see this woman right here. Okay. Um, she is a maiden. That rag will then be soaked with the maiden's blood. You can also go around and go through up through some of those other places and get some other items as well. But now you have your rag soaked with maiden's blood. There is no other thing option to do except for to teleport out of this area. You're going to want to go all the way back to the Rose Church and talk to that NPC and give him the uh, blood-covered cloth that's dipped in maiden's blood. After that, he will give you an item. That item is the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. Audience with Mog will be granted one day. And he says, you may be able to use it one day. And it even asks you, are you sure that you want to use this? Go to the audience grounds. Click yes. And it will immediately teleport you. This area is the one that is very dangerous. This is one of the places where you will really, really need your horse in order to do this. Okay, now you're at Mogwin's Palace, and you can actually take a look around, and you can see that we are directly in that area that I told you about. Hence the reason why I wanted you to come down and do this one right here, so that you would be able to teleport back. Now let's see if it allows us to do it now. It may have been in the latest patch where they allowed you to actually teleport to the ones up above. So, that's a good thing. You may not have to do that step to go down the Sophia River Wells if it allows you to teleport from the underground as well. So, the path that you're going to want to take, you're going to try to get up here to this area of grace. So, go on your map, and if you want to, you can set some waypoints that tell you across this red area. Make sure that you do not get um, off your horse as you're going through that area because it, it causes scarlet rot. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to run through. Make sure you stay away from all the enemies. This guy will blow. Following through here. We're gonna go through the river. And immediately just run past everybody. There'll be a bunch of them up here. Run past everyone, and the Sight of Grace will be right up here at the top. Jump off, activate it, and rest at the Sight of Grace so it de everyone. Now here comes the fun part. You're going to stand up and equip your bow. You're going to turn to the left here and see the giant bird. Right now I have 3,343 runes down there. We are going to aim at the bird just slightly above so it hits him. He will get aggroed, run straight for you, and jump off a cliff. And pay attention. 111,000 runes. And then you just come over here, rest. The bird resets. It may take you a few tries just to get it right. But once it hits him again, he runs straight forward and he falls. Adding another 11,000 runes to here. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Hope you all have a good one. And we'll see you later.